Hello everyone. I'm afraid I'm still bunged up and full of cold, but uh, the show must go on. I thought I'd better introduce this series of videos. They, uh, <laughs> they're not very politically correct. In fact, I've been through some of the stuff as I've been transferring it from these VHS tapes. This is, as seen on TV, tape number three. At the moment, I'm transferring what's on tape number two. It's either three or four hours of me, but it's not just me. You'll be glad to hear because I interspersed my monologues with uh, music, comedy, tours of the house, things like that. So back in the day, a long, long time ago, and I'm, I'm not sure when I did the first one. Now what you're about to see is part one of the first videotape I made for my pen pal Sue, who I've known since I think 1987. And Sue has a twin sister called Mandy and Mandy sort of started watching the tapes and Sue was my pen pal, but Sue has a twin. Well, I'm, I'm still saying has because Unfortunately, we lost Mandy. Mandy passed away last year. And I've just been, I went to a, a memorial for Mandy, a celebration of Mandy's life at uh, Northampton University where she worked. And more than about 100 people or more than 100 people came to see the plaque that was erected in Mandy's honor. And a few people said some very lovely things about Mandy. And I only knew Mandy via the internet and via the written word and text messages, things like that, you know, direct messaging. So I never got to meet Mandy. I finally got to meet Sue last uh, Friday, last Friday. Um, so we went down, it was quite an emotional event, but after all these years, Sue and I, since 1987, we've never even spoken. We've, we've only communicated initially via the pen, then the typewriter, then the word processor, and then with the internet via, you know, instant messages and things. So these tapes that I'm digitizing at the moment were made for Sue and Mandy, and only for Sue and Mandy to view. The internet didn't exist then, there was no YouTube, no computers started coming in, and you'll see the progression of technology through the videos. There must be about eight to ten videos. There's a couple of Christmas special ones that will only be showing you at Christmas. And um, it's fascinating for me to watch because I think in every video I tour my bedroom at the time and tour the house and the changes and little bits of technology start creeping in to the videos. But when we started, as I said, it was just pen and ink and then I progressed to get myself an electric typewriter. And it, this was the early days of CDs. And the first video shows the few CDs I started. You know, I had about 20, I think, in that video. And I had a record player as well. well I've gone back full circle. I'm sitting next to a CD player with a record player. <laughs> so, and I still have those CDs that, that I show in the uh, earlier films. I also show all my videotapes, all my pre-recorded BBC comedy tapes. It's absolutely, it's, a, it's, it's quite interesting. I think it's interesting. It's very interesting for me to see the progression of the house I used to live in, the upgrades, the changes of decor, the introduction of new technologies. So it's a little bit of my history that I'm going to share with anyone who cares to see it as I said it was only intended for two people to view but with the technology we have now we can share everything some things are not going to be shared I'm going to have to edit a few but not a lot but there's a few things I watch myself saying and doing thinking right there's no way I'm putting that up on YouTube so um it's going to be slightly edited and also, I have to edit the, the videos for content, uh, for copyright content. So I might be able to show a few seconds of 
a video clip, a music clip, or a few seconds of a comedy clip. I can't show the whole thing in its entirety because it'll just get flagged. It probably will be able to go up on YouTube, but it'll be demonetized and um, in some cases it will only be viewable in certain countries. I found that when I've uh, put things up on, on YouTube because BBC might claim it and people can't see it in the UK, but they might be able to watch it in Outer Mongolia, you know, that sort of stupid thing. So all the content that features me doing this will be there with a few edits, um, lots of dogs, lots of dearly departed, don't cry, Rog. Lots of dearly departed dogs are shown in the videos. Um, and I've got a lot more hair, as <laughs> you'll see when you start watching the first one. And as the video series progresses over the time, you'll see my hairline <laughs> gradually go back. And I'm quite conscious of my hair. I do make lots of comments about my hair, even in the earlier videos, because I think I knew even at 18 or 19 or however old I was when I started, I knew my hair was going and I tried all sorts of lotions and potions. And then there comes a stage when What's the point? If Elton John, with all his money, has that ridiculous looking syrup, what's the point for us average folk getting our hair back? So obviously I'm a lot thinner. I sound very, very posh. <laughs> very, very posh in the first uh, two videos or so. I don't know why I was very, very plummy. I mean, I don't, I don't sound... I, 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 I do sound a little bit more common, I think, now. I tend to drop me H's and say summit. My mum pulls me up, I say summit instead of something. Um, I don't know if I just do it on purpose, just to, you know. But anyway, so what you're about to see is part one of my As Seen on TV series, only meant for Sue and Mandy. Um, so I've divided, I think the first tape is divided into five parts and I'm going to put one part out each week um, and then there'll be part two and that'll be divided up into five or six parts or however many I need to and then so on and so forth. Um, as I said, there's some Christmas ones which I'll say for Christmas time um, and there's one where I sort of, it's the first first video I made Sue after I came out. Sue is the first person I came out to. And that took me a lot of, a lot of courage to just come out to someone I just write to, you know, I thought, oh, this wasn't the days when you could just come out now and just, you know, you can come out of the womb these days. You can be screaming, you can be, you can be a screaming queen as soon as you've left your mother's womb, can't you, these days? So it's all like, oh yes, I'm a gay. I'm a flower pot. Oh, I think I'll be a pussycat, whatever. It's all, we've gone too far. But anyway, back in those days, folks, it was quite a big thing to sort of admit it. And so it took me a long time. And then once it, you know, Sue, obviously Sue accepted it fine, you know, no trouble. And then I, I was a bit more free to talk about stuff. And so there's a whole tape where I think I call it out on TV instead of as seen on TV. So there's quite a lot of gay things in it. Uh, some of those will have to be edited. I mean, there's no, you know, naughty stuff, but uh, I think I'm just oversharing, um, which I tend not to do these days because there's more people can watch. But I, I have cringed quite a lot looking at some of this old footage. I've cried. I've laughed, I've cringed, cringed more. Um, I've cried, I've cried for the loss of my youth. I've cried for the loss of my dogs. I've cried for the loss of that life. Um, so, you know, I'm just tearing up now thinking about it, but I'm so, so pleased I have this footage to share and to keep for myself as well, obviously. And the sooner I get it all digitized on several different formats, it's surprising that these tapes are still playing. I've all, I mean, I used to have, as you'll see from later videos, I used to have hundreds and hundreds of these bulky videotapes, not just pre-recorded ones I've bought, but tapes I've recorded from the TV, 
you know, I had two video recorders running. Some, I think at one stage I had three video recorders, a satellite receiver, my big video camera. So all the footage, certainly, certainly a lot of the footage is recorded, was recorded directly onto these um, VHS tapes. Certainly the first two videos, they were recorded directly onto the camera. But then I worked out a way, when I was filming in my bedroom or in a fixed location, I connected the video camera directly to my VHS video recorder, which did give me better results. It gave me a better picture quality. And you'll see, I'm quite pleased with the picture quality. The first video, it's a bit dodgy in places, but as the videos go, as they progress, the video quality does get better. And now I've bought myself this little amazing doodah thing with a screen that can convert all sorts of old technology to new technology so you can see it now. Um, it's improving the picture even more. And then when that, when that analog signal, so from this tape, I can manage to get the content from tapes like this onto an SD card, which I can slot into my computer, put it into my computer software, my video editing software, and I can even tweak it a little bit in there. I can tweak the colors, I can tweak the sound. It's not going to be the 4K or the 1080p you're looking at me in now, but for the time, I think the picture quality isn't bad. I do make all the errors of early video makers where a lot of it's out of focus. I do a lot of zooming in and out. Um, I did I did learn, as you'll see, as this series progresses, you'll see that I did learn as I went along, as I did when I went onto YouTube, I learned what to do, what not to do. But obviously when you first get a video camera, I was very much playing to the camera, very much playing up to the camera. And uh, when I was behind the camera filming, um, yeah, too much zooming in and out, too much out of focus. And I'm just looking at it thinking, oh, Roger, you could have shown that much better. But it gets better. But it's still viewable. I think it's still viewable. So that's the introduction to my series. And then when all these have done, this, the next format I started recording video on was those mini, mini DV, digital video cassettes from Sony. So I've got all those to, to put up as well. And I've got a whole series of when I moved house to this house, to my old house, the whole moving process, when this house is being built, got all video of that. Lo I've got tons and tons of stuff. Plus all the um, audio that I copied when I did hospital radio as well. So I've got a huge archive, a huge archive that I want to digitise, as I said, for me, but also for anyone else who might want to watch it. So that's the introduction to this series. It's dedicated, I'm dedicating it to Sue and Mandy. I'm sure Mandy will be able to see them again in spirit. Wherever Mandy is, I'm sure she's there watching. She knows what's going on. She just, she can't tell us she's there, but she's there. I'm sure she's, she's there. And this, it was going to Mandy's celebration of Mandy's life that sort of gave me the kick up the bum I needed. Just, just get on with it, Roger. It, just get on with putting these videos out, even if it's just for the benefit of Sue and Mandy to watch again if they want to see them again. But I'm sure there's some other people who watch my channel might be interested in the films. So here's part one. I'm not sure how, it might be about 20 odd minutes on top of this video. So bear in mind, it was a long time ago. Um, I was quite immature for my age, still am, but it was even more noticeable, I think, in some of these videos. I do some absolutely cringy things, but you know, it is what it is, folks. It is what it is. I hope you enjoy this series. And um, obviously, the series, my archive will run alongside modern stuff, stuff that's going on now. Um, but I just think it's, it might be of interest or amusement to some other folk. But yeah, that's it. 
you know. I'm a little bit more tongue-tied and aware of myself these days than I was back then. But then again, when I was filming back in the day, it was only for one or two people to view. It wasn't for <laughs> anyone who happened to stumble across my channel on the internet. So enjoy part one of Roger Lang as seen on TV. Part two, three, four, five will follow. And then I'll do an introduction when I start to digitise number two and I'll give an introduction to that but I think I think the video the first video you're about to see was from either 1987 or 1988 around that sort of time period if I can date them I will date them precisely some of the videos I'm watching I have been managed to date them because I'm holding up copies of the Radio Times or I'm mentioning in one video, I'm mentioning that Channel 5 has just been launched. So I went on the internet, found out what year Channel 5 was launched. I think it was 1997. So obviously there's a video for me from 1997. So starts around 87, 88 and goes well into the 90s for these tapes and then beyond for the little mini Sony DV tapes I've got. Enjoy the series, hope you do, and uh, here we go. This is part one of my archive. Hello, good evening, and welcome. My name is David Ross, I think. And today, we're looking through the keyhole of somebody rather famous. Although he thinks he is, but he's not really. Anyway. Lloyd Grossman, the nosy bar person, is actually going through the keyhole of this person. See how many clues you can spot through the keyhole. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, my God, I'm Lloyd Grossman. Let's move this back. <coughs> now, I've got to put on a, a pathetic American accent. Hang on a minute. Right then. <coughs> Oops, on the gears. Yes, here we are. That's my chair. Right. Well, we go through the keyhole today. And what do we see? This is the master bedroom. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> Something embarrassing. Aha! Uh -huh. What's this? It's out of focus, that's for sure. Mostly men. And what's this? Underarm deodorant for underarms. And Zendium toothpaste. Yes. What's this device here? Hmm. Funny sort of thing. Ooh, some sort of mini vacuum cleaner, perhaps. Oh, put that down there. Ah, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Whoops, out of focus. I'm pissed again. Ah, boss. Well, now let's peer into the cupboards. Hmm, what do we have in here? Hoover, Hoover. Strange. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And in this one. Hmm, it looks like a Freedom 1000 bought from Harrogate. An aquatronic. Porter power. I'm going out of focus. A picture of a vacuum. Could this person be interested in vacuum cleaners? What's in the cupboard? Doo -doo 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 -doo. More vacuum cleaners. Mm, strange person. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Picture. Very more than print. Television set. Ooh. What 
Hats on. Ooh, she's attractive. Well, another high tech piece of equipment. And then here. What's in here? Oh, God, this is heavy. Uh, apologize, viewers, but uh, the cameraman's off sick and I've got to do both jobs. Do -do 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 -do. Let me just change shoulders. Hold on. Do oh, I can't. Oh, never mind. Do -do -do. What's this? A liking for Twix. An English dictionary. What's this? Let's snoop around. Do -do 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 -do. Sue. Sue who? Who could be living in a house like this? Hmm. Letters. Love letters. Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh. It's Sue. Hmm. So, he obviously likes vacuum cleaners and has a pen pal called Sue. What else can we find out? Through the keyhole. Do -do -do. Ah, another high-tech piece of equipment. A remote control. And look, compact discs. What's this one? Evasio. Hmm. Do 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 do. I'm not very expert at this. Do do do. Oh, hang on. Do 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 do. I look in his sock drawer. Put a sock on my shoulder. Cause this bloody thing's digging into me. Oh no, this'll do. Ooh, dirty underpants. Quick. Better hide those. Hold on a tick. Oh. Right. Just put this under my arm, shoulder, I mean, hang on. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Ah, that's it. That's it. Ah, oh, it's better. Oh. Mmm, comfy chair for typing. And there you are, the typewriter. So he's obviously a famous author. Mmm, a video recording machine. A clock. A clock that works. Mm, what's in here? Do 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 do. Hmm. How to be a complete bastard. Hmm. And what's this? This book could change your life. Well, it certainly hasn't so far. A big, spacious double bed. Hmm. On back to the high technology. isn't it? Oh, why isn't it working? Oh, God! It's not plugged in. You'll have to put up with that. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh! Yes, that's outside. Mm -hmm. What's this? A stone? What's that? A little van? And for someone, you're special to me. Hmm. And a small vacuum. Can we close up in on that? Can you see it? Oops, pardon me. Who would live in a room like this? What's in here? Another vacuum cleaner. And a poster of a doggy eating alive a little kitten. Ah, 
one safety conscious note up there on the ceiling. Can you see what it is? I'll be buggered if I can. Oh, let's see if it works. Oh, oh God. Hmm. Yes. Do 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 do. Ah, a sink. Hmm. Water. So obviously, this person keeps himself clean using the sink and that water. And uh, what's this? This little box here. It's what? Mountain breeze. Ah, it's an ionizer. Hmm. This is a rather posh cheer that converts very easily into a single bed. So obviously he likes to entertain people. Two large speakers. So, <laughs> let's run through the evidence again. High-tech equipment. Cupboards full of vacuum cleaners. A little clown. A double bed. And another quaint little aunt. Who sleeps in a room like this? David, it's over to you. Do 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 do. Yeah. Thank you, Lloyd. <coughs> Thank you, Lloyd. Will panel. On my left, we have Chris Talent because he's cheap and nobody else will have him. Next to Chris, Eve Pollard. She's the editor of the Mail on Sunday U magazine. And look at the size of her earrings. And, of course, Patrick Litchfield there, because he's dirt cheap too, and we can't get anybody with quality. So, who do you think it is? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yes. Yes, I understand. Yes. I'm sorry, viewers. Apparently, they buggered off home. Couldn't be bothered. Anyway, I'll let you into a secret. It's... Me! Oh my god, I'm in front of the camera and I hit it. And it's all done in the best possible taste. Sorry, hang on. Oh god. Anyway, hello. 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 I hope I'm in shot, am I? Yes. Now I'm going live. It's Philip and Sarah making a complete fool of themselves. Okay.